Welcome to a new video on Design Studio by the Solar Labs. Today we will learn about panels, the different functions and features. So let's begin. Select the roof on which you have already drawn. Then on the right hand side select fill face button. It will automatically place panels. The right hand side is divided into three sections. Summary, Action and Properties. It is also known as the SAP section. Summary will have infos like subarray, number of panels, size of the system, panel make, solar access value, etc. Then comes the actions panel. The first option is delete. I'll show you. You always have the option of undo in case you commit any mistake. To open the SAP section again, click on one panel, subarray. The next option in actions menu is add table. You can manually add tables to your preference. The next option is optimize. You can optimize your system in three different ways. There is a slider provided. On scrolling that, it will remove the non-efficient panels first and in that order. The other ways is by mentioning the system size or the solar access threshold value. Let's close this. And the last option allows you to reset your changes to the first menu that was already there. Then comes the properties menu. The first option is template. It is two types, flesh and fixed mount. Flesh mount is generally used for sheds as you need to place the panels along the roof. Fixed is used on roofs like RCC. You can select the panel either by its make or size. The small eye next to each panel will give you all the information that you need regarding that particular panel. Next comes the tilt. You can put in the required value manually to your preference. Azimuth gives you the option in which direction you want to place your panels. You can also manually put in the azimuth values. For example, 180 in this case. The row spacing mode. It has two modes, auto and manual. As the name suggests, auto mode calculates the best possible row spacing automatically but if you wish to change it manually then it is possible like this you can add in the value that is required then comes the table spacing let's zoom in and here as you can see it is 0.025 I'll change that to for example 0.5 and if you hit update it will do that exactly. Let's put back to the value as it is before. After that comes table properties. You can change the table size up down values. Like for instance, let me change it to a 2 cross 1 model. Hit update. Or a 2 cross 2 model. Let me also changing, change the table spacing a bit so that you will be able to view it better. Like this. The table orientation. It is of two types, landscape and portrait. As you can see, it changes like this. You can change the mount height as your need. The next option is module spacing. It can be up, down or wide. Let me show you how it works. Change the value to your preference and it is seen here. So that was our SAP section. Now let's see other functions as well. Let's see now the single table properties. 
select the panel table now we can see the summary action and properties of that specific table also you can see here the solar access value is zero so i'll show you how to check the solar access value for each table click on the panel subarray optimize close it then again click on the table table menu and now you can see the solar access value has been updated in this case it is 100 i'll show you a couple more examples we can also delete a particular table like this select the table and delete there is always an undo button to save you now let's see how you select multiple tables there are exactly three ways in which you can get it done select one table then keep pressing the shift key while you select all the tables that you need after selection you can also choose to move them in a bunch just drag with your mouse the second way is to select it normally by just left click on your mouse and drag all the selection required you can move them as well the third way is selecting the lasso tool the lasso tool is available in the sidebar the shortcut for the same is letter L on your keyboard and like you draw the polygon select the area where you want your panels to be selected and close them in the selection and every panel in that selected area will be selected automatically you can move them as well now let's go ahead and find out other panel functions for that go to the top left corner select the panels menu the first option is auto panel placement here you can customize your field segment properties to your preference so let's go ahead and do that you can select your uh, panel by its make or size you can change the values for table spacing tilt azimuth and solar axis cutoff values the next option is table types by clicking this button you can customize your tables and after changing all the values hit confirm and as you can see that table is now created hit confirm the next step is to select the roof on which you want to auto place panels after that click on the complete action button on the top bar as you can see all the possible orientations are seen on the bottom of your screen select the preferred one and then choose the complete action button on the top the next options in panels menu is add subarray the shortcut is s select or enclose the area in which you want to place panels join the corners needed or you can select using the complete action change the subarray properties on the right and your panel is placed the next is panel delete mode as the name suggests it will delete the panels select the panel or panels that you wish to delete and just select the complete action on the top to finish add table mode is the final option on the panels menu select the option and you can individually change the subarray properties on the right hand side you can add a table wherever you want and by clicking alt you can place multiple numbers you can even change the table size here that brings us to the end of this video thank you for joining me have a nice day